Hello everybody, Mimi here, and I just wanted to share a little project that I'm working on. I have uh, been doing some kind of mixed media collagen on a piece of paper that I had put in some tea dyed paper strips down on and had it for a while. So I thought, oh, I might as well film it, you know. Um, it's always fun to do something different, and I thought, uh, I'm fixing to work on something that I could use this with. So I have gotten a bunch of different scraps that I had and I'm kind of sticking with the um, creams, blacks, and um, beigey colors. And I've got just a bunch of different things, um, newspaper, music print, um, actual gauze and material. Um, I even thought about doing some, oh, taking your, your, stencils and doing a little um, gel on there to kind of give it some texture and some stamping. So I've got quite a few things that I'm, I'm working on, but I just thought, hey, what the heck, I'll just film this. Um, most of all, all y'all know how to do this, but what my idea was is to take it and actually, like I said, using it in this part project, I'm working on some, a tag journal, um, big black tag journal. And um, I might cut these, cut this up. I had made this for a big journal, but decided that um, what I might do is just actually let this dry really good and then just cut it up and use it on some of my tags and stuff. So I love to do this. This to me is like free therapy. So um, if you need just some something to do that you need your mind to just get lost. Get out your Mod Podge. I use this Collage Podge, which I noticed that Hobby Lobby is not carrying anymore, which I'm very upset about. But that's the way the book, the, the ball bounces. So, you know, um, I can get it through Amazon. So I've already checked it out. Um, but anyway, what I'm doing is kind of putting some bigger pieces down first and just scattering it around. Um, I save all my little scraps because hopefully I'm going to use them eventually and I usually do. Um, I had cut out some of these things I thought were really cute. This is a big circle so um, it's got the colors I wanted so I may have to kind of really work on it to get it down but I thought it was really pretty. Um, I like the it's the keyboard look, uh, the type, typewriter cut look, not keyboard. Huh. Why would I use keyboard on here? And then these are some little butterflies that I had taken and used in my die cut and cut those out. I kind of try to do a whole bunch at one time. And I thought those would be cute on here too. So, you know, it's just all about not really worrying about where you put stuff. This here, I'm going to have to actually add some extra glue to. That's a thick piece of scrap of paper there. And it needs some extra gump, gump behind it. I'm going to have to really work on it. I can tell already it's not wanting to cooperate. And this is just some burlap that um, I had. And I'm going to really... I may end up having to use some different glue on it, but thinking maybe it might stay. I'm always fascinated by women that do mixed media. I tend to really enjoy pinning it all and really looking at it. Um, I think it's uh, such a beautiful art. Uh, I noticed something too, if you have kind of glue on your, on your project and you, then you use your Tim Holtz stain on there, it makes a really beautiful look. So I'm just gonna keep working this. And like I said, um, you can see where I had already done this side over here. See how cute that turned out? I just love doing this. And like I said, once you do this, you can have it ready so you can use it to cut up stuff and for your projects or you can use it as a whole piece and you know make to make a um, a book page. See, I've got it on both sides. And it's just junk that I had.
scraps. You know, I even thought about using um, some metal on here. That is not gonna stick, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to use a different glue on that. Let me get out my fabric tag. No, that's not fabric tag. Let's see where my fabric tag way over here. I've just recently bought me some new glues and some people have been that 45, 450. They say it's really good, so I'm gonna try that out. I don't know if this fabric is gonna stick this down very good, but it might. And, and you know, I know it'll do good on the fabric, so. But I should have put me some gloves on. This is messy. But you know, um, Just keep messing with it and eventually your thing's gonna stick down. I promise you. I did that one last night, so it was fun to do. I love putting words on here too. I think words are really cool to stick on there and kind of make put a saying, which I I'm I've got my word my printed out words already done up and that's probably what I'm gonna do. My last thing, I'm gonna add some words on there to kinda, you know, put some wording on there. I love when they do that. I think that's so cool looking. I even did some stamping on, on that one side. I thought that was really interesting to kinda do a little stamping. But you, if you know, mixed media person's watching this, they're probably cringing right now at the way I'm doing this. <laughs> oh well. I figured everybody does things differently, right? And I don't even know what I'm doing, so I'm, that's kind of the way I the way I roll. I just start doing something, and then I'll go. You know what? Maybe I need to watch a YouTube on that. <laughs> I recently learned how to make dangles because I finally watched a YouTube on that so I could really make some for my junk journals. And I really found some good um, tutorials out there on that. So I was excited about that. It made me happy, happy, happy that I finally learned how to make them and they weren't hard at all. So I over overcame my fear and did some. And that's one thing too. You just got to get in there and do it, you know. Just sometimes I just get in my craft room and start messing around. Like what I'm doing right here, because I'm tired of doing journals. I'm tired of. Um, I got to do something different for a little while. And that's why I always have about 50 million things going on in my craft room because if I get like I need a break from my journaling my making my journals then I could just work on something else and I'm doing a fabric book right now which I'm so excited about I love fabric journals that Susie thread um, work I don't, is it thread works I'm not for sure anyway she makes the most prettiest fabric journals. I've been so inspired by her. And she has been kind of somebody that's been my inspiration for fabric journals. And also I've watched uh, Jeanette, which is, um, she changed her name recently. It's my neat, um, what is her name on Facebook, on YouTube? I can't remember. But y'all know who Jeanette is. She is so talented. She makes such pretty stuff. All right, well, so y'all see where I'm going with this. And let me see how much time I've spent on this. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. Um, But I will show you some pictures on this 
when I get through with it. And then you'll have to check back on my tag journal that I'm gonna do. Um, a few, I'm sure some of y'all seen it when I made those uh, paper towel, tea dyed paper towel roses. Well, I'm gonna use them on my tag journal. But isn't that looking great? I just love the way that's looking. And I'm gonna have to get a little bit more. The, and using the different shapes on there, I think really makes it kinda, gives it a dimension to it. But that one thick brown piece that I used, it is not wanting to stick down. That is some thick scrap paper right there, buddy. But eventually it will. Just keep keep mash, mashing on it. It'll go down. But I think using, like I said, putting the texture on there, putting a little gauze on there and stuff really, to me, makes it look better. I am a messy crafter. I don't know about y'all. I'm not a messy person at my house. I'm very particular about my house. I like my house to be clean. But when I'm crafting, oh, I'm not a I'm not a um, organized clean crafter. I am like a madhouse. I don't know if y'all are the same way, but I'm sure everybody does it different, but I, it looks like a disaster zone. But my husband will come in here and he'll say, your craft room, are you gonna clean this up? And I'll say, well, come back later. It'll all be cleaned up. Because in about, I can clean it up in no time. That's the reason why I don't get stressed out about it. Let's see, this piece right here is not right. I think that was not stuck down. But that was like a round, uh, kind of an oval, looked like an egg, kind of. I don't know where that came from. And here's another one of those pieces that were that thicker. Let me pull this down a little bit further. So y'all can really see what I'm doing. See that? When that dries, it is going to be so pretty. I promise you, if you like this type of work. Not everybody likes this. Some people are not into the, you know, mixed media, collage real crazy stuff. I love it. Of course, I, me and my mom, we love vintage stuff, period. But anyway, um, thank y'all so much for hanging out with me and watching me collage here or mixed media here. Um, once this dries and everything, I'll when I put my video up, I will show you the finished product, how it looks dried and everything. And let me show you, this is what I'm talking about, my little tag journals that I'm working on. That's cute. You see, I got another one that I had done up. I'm doing both sides of them and have a ring that goes with it. But these are so cute. I think these turned out really darling. And that's the reason why I'm doing this because I'm gonna use some of that to help make some of my uh, tags. And then I'm gonna put all the tags together. So um, I thought that would be a really cute project to do. And I just, this idea kind of came to me and I thought, well, you're doing this kind of creamy colors and all that. Why don't you do a collage up? So, all right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I surely appreciate it. And y'all check back if we're, um, with me. And um, hopefully I'll have my black tag tags done next week. Well, y'all have a blessed day.